Hello, it's Divine Honesty and I'm back for another reading. Today I will be reading for Gemini's Love Life 2019 and let's get started. So the first three cards we're going to have will represent your current love life. Okay, Gemini. And we have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So what I'm seeing is you have choices, Gemini. You have choices. Now, this could represent choice different partners or how you will continue within the relationship. But you have choices. Now, with the Ten of Wands, I'm seeing these choices are making you feel overwhelmed. Okay. Are making you feel like is too much for you and Gemini you're very indecisive so I'm seeing having to choose is putting a lot of pressure on you all right and then we have the Queen of Wands which represents passion life fire so I'm seeing if you look at the correlation between the three cards okay with the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups the he is facing towards the different decisions they have or the different choices you have Gemini okay with the moon in the background most likely these are choices that are in your head okay so you're in your head about a lot of a lot of things which are also represented by the seven of cups okay now this the fact that you have a lot of choices is making you overwhelmed okay but if you look at the correlation between Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands, you have your back towards passion. So either you feel as if your partner is not bringing you the same passion or they're not into you as they were, maybe you're not into them as well, okay? So that's what's making you feel like you have to choose. Or maybe you have um, overwhelmed because your partner chose someone else, okay? Let's look. Um, at the clarifications so for the seven of cups we have the two of pinnacles for the ten of wands we have the strength card and for the queen of wands we have the knight of pinnacles okay so for the seven of cups the two of pinnacles also mean that your decision has to come, has to do with money, okay? I'm seeing money, and this is mostly within you, Gemini, in your head. So I'm seeing you're figuring out, is it stable to be with someone who has um, more stability when it comes to money? Or someone who emotionally fulfills you? You see the water in the background that has to do with emotion. You also have another moon here, okay? So will you be emotionally satisfied or monetary satisfied okay and then i'm seeing the strength card the first major arcana card okay so this also represents leo so your partner may be a leo okay now with this it means that instead of using logic i'm noticing that a lot of gemini's are very logical you're also indecisive you need to stick to the choice that you will make by using your inner guidance and ride that choice out, okay? Whatever decisions you have in your head that's making you overwhelmed, go inner, have that strength, figure that out, and move on, okay? And move on. Now, with the Queen of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it is have to do with some stability, okay? Also, if it's not a Leo, it possibly could be an Earth sign, okay? That you're dealing with, which are Virgos, um, Capricorns, and Taurus, okay? So you're, you are wanting some stability. Maybe your partner is boring you, or maybe they're not giving you what you feel like you you need okay so you're you're struggling on if this is the relationship for you okay now let's see how your partner feels now we see the three of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles 
and we have the Page of Cups. So like I said, most likely if it's not a Leo, it is an Earth sign. Now, or if it's not a Leo or an Earth sign, they embody one of those Zodiac signs, okay? But your partner, honey, he, they want to show you off. They like you. You you make them look forward to life, okay? I'm also seeing that they see a future within you. If you look at the Seven of Pentacles, she is facing outward, so she is looking into her future. They feel like you guys can accomplish a lot of things together and that you have accomplished a lot of things, and they want to continue that, okay? I'm also seeing that your partner could be looking to marry you or make a more uh be more committed to you or a proposal okay i'm seeing that is what's on your partner's mind okay also if you look at the correlations between that they're both looking out he has a cup in his hand so they he wants to bring you an offer of love or she wants to bring you an offer of love okay with you you feel like they're not as stable okay and they feel as if they can bring you love to overcompensate for whatever they're lacking, okay? So they're not knowing truly how you feel, Gemini, which is um, which is something that is not unnormal for you. A lot of people don't know how you feel. You're very um, not secretive, but you have the opportunity to live two separate lives, okay? So your partner basically think everything is hori doki everything is going according to plan they love you they love showing you off you guys do things together you're very sociable they love that about you gemini now to clarify your partner's view we have for the three of pentacles we have the temperance card for the seven of pentacles we have the ace of swords and for the page of cups we have the queen of pentacles okay now for the Three of Pentacles, the Temperance, we see that they feel as if they balance you, okay? So they might be shy and you might be more outgoing or they might be more outgoing and you might be more shy. But most likely you're more outgoing, Gemini, and they're shy. They feel like that's what they like. You complete them, okay? I'm also seeing for the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords that they feel like they can get through anything with you. I mean, y'all trump over difficult times, okay? If you've been there with them through a lot, okay? I'm seeing you guys are very good at communication, maybe to a good point and a bad point at communication, but you're very good at that. Um, and anything, your partner feels that anything in your way, you guys can overcome it, okay? Now, with the Page of Swords, I'm sorry, Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, we see that they are both satisfied. They look content, okay, maybe a little bit bored. So, you might get that this person is boring, um, Gemini, okay, they're, you know, but they want to bring you some stability. They want you to feel that from them, okay? They want you to feel like you're their rock, okay? But they're not getting that from you, like I said you're you're feeling overwhelmed all right gemini because of your choices but your partner doesn't know that your partner doesn't know that your partner loves you okay or your love interest is very into you now for the overall outcome we have the queen of cups okay so basically what i'm seeing for the outcome is that you have to go with thin gemini and figure out what you want emotionally Okay, if you look at the Queen of Cups, you see it's kind of stormy in the background and she has her cup pointed towards the future. So she, you want to get out of this fog in your head, this unclearness, and you want to continue to go forward. Okay, and that's what you will have to do in order to fully benefit um, in your love life for February 2019. You have to figure out what you have to do, decide, use that strength. Okay. Use that strength, that inner strength, and then propel. Now, for your final message, I'm seeing the Three of Cups, okay? So, basically, once you figure out what you want, Gemini, you will have um, a glorious time. You'll be fulfilled. You'll be happy. You'll be socializing with people. You will have this weight 
lifted off of you, okay? You have this weight lifted off of you, but you have to seek inner guidance. It's all about what will benefit you in the long run, okay? Don't look at things as far as uh, this person has more money, so therefore I'm going to go with this person, this person does this and that. Look at the full package. Where will you fully benefit from in the long run, okay? And this has been another Divine Honesty. If it resonates, please click like. Also, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.